Hello everybody, this is Yuriko back with another episode of Life is Strange. Now, just a reminder, you're not going to see me on these vids. Because I want you to experience the whole gameplay and not me, you know, monopolizing a corner. So, now, we are on episode two. But this time I'm not going to sit through the whole damn episode and play the whole thing in one sitting. My butt got numb the last time and it was just bad. So what we are going to do is break up episode two in parts. As you can see, my other one was from February and it is now April. So since this is going to be new gameplay, new way of viewing it, whole nine, we are going to do a new one and continue. And I can hear my cat meowing outside because she's an idiot and bolted out the door. Too bad, kitty. You can't come back in. No, she'll probably go to the front door and gain somebody's attention. continue. What's wrong with you? episode of Life is Strange. Okay. Recap. No! Whoa. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. You're gonna flip shit if I tell you everything, Chica. But, whatever. I guess I'll tell you everything anyways. Let's fall. But something goes. 
I am so wrecked after staying up all night. I could use my rewind to catch a few more Zs, but maybe I better save my strength. No amount of rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it, consider it done. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Oh, yes, all in a day's work. That action will have consequences. I would love to know what. They make it sound like a bad thing. It's horrible. Kate. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely, I'll bring it by later. And then shower. Cause you stink, girlfriend. And then watch the shit unfold. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. No, oh, go boo -boo. away. Oh, boo-boo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck! I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. Enough said. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> this is a 
the kind of girls in school that you just wanted to slap the hell out of. And then you remember that Karma is the biggest fuck you over of all times. So the girls that were like this in my I school, better get dressed oh, than go give back Kate's book. They just got their just desserts. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Hello? You just Water? Took Sorry. A I forgot. <sighs> Oops. I forgot about the water pressure. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Usually happens. Otter power? I'm so not there. No, I'm good to flow. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I was just checking out the diffs. Can I do something to hers? Nah. I can't. Oh well. Not yet, anyways. Lovely. Ugh. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? After I find Kate's book. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Bitch. Ta-da! I do love a clean room. Very zen. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. Okay, clean the message up. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Yeah, let's get dressed. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Now I can. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. <sighs> Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no sense. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Thanks, Victoria. I always wanted to be a Max meme when I grew up. She'll spread that shit everywhere. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Mm. 
Okay, stop wasting time, Chica. I'm not gonna fucking knock. Uh-oh. Oops, wrong one. Ooh, I wonder who that's from. Oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not a- What's happening, Dana? <coughs> Everything cool Sorry. between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Well, sure, why, why the not? fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like <laughs> fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Or does Glad it to see you're back all. in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Her mind works in devious ways, huh? I highly doubt it works at all. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. <sighs> Bella's room. Wait a minute. Kate's room's gotta be around here somewhere. There it is. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would, but it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Did you party with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgment. Not my scene at all. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. 
Sorry, I don't mean to be clicking around here. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. Yep. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Yes, look for proof or go to the police. I think we're going to go to the police. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. So what? You're doing the right thing. No matter how many people threaten your ass. Jesus, this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth, Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Oh, wow. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. 
Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Oh, this poor girl. <laughs> no emoji! Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Samuel truly is a weirdo, but he is great at cleaning up. Go Miss Grant. Not sure if I will though, I'm a loser. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning. For food, I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. I don't think he's weird. I think he's... I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Eccentric. Of course you will. Release the kraken. Come on, squirrels. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. Yes! Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I took another picture and I got a freaking accomplishment for it or achievement or whatever. I feel so accomplished. Oh, Lord. If you kept your boy on a fucking leash, we wouldn't have this problem. Max, come on over here. 
Lauren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's sure. exactly what I need. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. Uh -oh. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Or Buzz. You never rule out Buzz. It was the bus driver. He did it all along. With the rope in the bathroom. Sorry, that was a really, really piss poor excuse to do the blue room. Oh. <coughs> I do apologize. Don't you know that I was around to guide you through your. Take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk trip. about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be my ending to part well, actually, episode two, part one of episode two. And if you guys enjoy this, please leave a comment down below in the comments box and also leave a like and please share and subscribe. Now, if you guys got any pointers for me playing Life in Strange so I can get more achievements or whatever or do something a little different, that would be greatly appreciated. Go ahead and knock a comment in below. And other than that, I will see you babies later. Peace out, babies.